78 Sports TV here. So I'm checking out my boy Boxing Beast and Rhymes page. Doing it from Boxing Beast and Rhymes channel. This is Tony Thompson. Chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. Hey, Glenn, you chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. This is that Mayor Hardcore Man Store on Boxing Beast and Rhymes YouTube channel. I don't know if you want to. Possible Manny Pacquiao fight with Boy Mayor. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, basically, I mean, it's a fight that still has a potential to happen. Tava trying to get the right leg outside the southpaw right leg outside Banks's orthodox left. Blocks a combo on his forearms. He was slightly shading a quiet feeling out round. He landed a good straight left, and that sealed the round for him, in my opinion. Second, Tava takes ring center Banks. Is gun shy. Getting stalked. Tava lands a good right. Later on in the round, the apprehensive Banks gets caught on the ropes by a good left. And Banks felt that. Banks is not sharp at all. Round three, Banks tries to assert himself a little more and takes center ground. Tava fighting out of a slight crouch. Chin low. Lands a stiff right jab and one jab to the body. Tava's doing a little better with his movement, however. In round four, Tava just got a better jab. He's way more relaxed in there. And he wins this one, too. I didn't have Banks winning a round, actually. In round five, Banks finally steps in with his jab. Fighting with a little more ambition. Not landing anything dynamic, but at least he's throwing more shots. Tava's jab and straight left still seem to freeze him in his tracks even if temporarily, nevertheless. Banks doubles up his left to the body and head, but allows Tava to come back with better shots and steal the round. Tava has always been a good, sneaky counter-puncher with good snap on his shots. Banks, in my opinion, carries his hands a little too low, and he's just not sharp enough and doesn't have the reflexes to compete with Tava. And Tava's just picking him to pieces. In round six, not much between the two, Tava's better punch quality is a little better, but neither of them is setting an uncomfortable pace for the other. Round 7. Tava throws a couple of jabs to the body. Banks looks frustrated. The jabs either hurt him or he was pissed off that they forced him to reset. Tava's very crafty. Tava sees this and he wisely attacks with both hands to the body now. A beautiful combo by Tava. A left and a right to the body and a left to the head with Banks against the ropes, and then that's followed by another big combination that floors Banks. He's hurt. He gets up. The follow-up attack with Banks shipping too much punishment on the ropes secures the stoppage with Banks on shaky legs. This is Banks' second loss after the questionable, when I say questionable, the ebb and flow of the Seth Mitchell bout. There was something irregular with it. I'm not going to go into it now, but there was something irregular with that fight. And this is his second loss, and he's already got a well-paid job training. The glitch goes, is he going to become a journeyman and be Vlad's trainer as well? I don't, I don't see how it works. I don't see how that works. Um, Tava! 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 Now, he's not shredded. He's not shredded. This is his heaviest weight ever. He's old. Mid-40s, man. He's old. But, and you know, I'm going to come out and say it. I'm going to come out and say it. He's one of the only guys out there. And I'm not saying he can beat Klitschko. He's one of the only guys out there who has the patience, the wisdom, the defense, and the counter-punching skills to maybe give Vladimir Klitschko a test. I just realized it watching him. And I, I shouldn't. Perhaps I shouldn't assess that after watching him fight Jonathan Banks, but Tava's very clever. He's very clever. You see, he comes forward without forcing the fight and makes you make mistakes, makes you overthrow your jab. If he can do that to Klitschko and get inside, it's going to be very interesting. And um, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he could beat Klitschko, but he might be one of the best equipped challenges to do so, if he's talking from a skill set point of view. That's the truth. That's the absolute truth. I'm not saying he should get a shot. I'm not saying that. He probably needs to do a little more. But that's how I'm reading it. That's how I'm reading it right now. There's not much skilled heavyweights out there. There just isn't.
There, there's not like there's a young Lennox Lewis or young Larry Holmes out there or a Mike Tyson or anything remotely close to that. Crafty display, a slow-paced fight, and he closed the show. They're talking about they'd like to see him in there with Deontay Wilder, but Deontay Wilder's fighting for the title, so I don't know how that works. Tava is good work for anything named Tyson Fury, for anything named Anthony Joshua. Don't put him in there with Anthony Joshua and think you're going to get away with it. Let Anthony Joshua fight Kingpin Johnson, perhaps, but don't put him in there with Tava at this stage. It's too crafty. It's too much of a risk. I don't care if you laugh at the video. It's just too much of a risk. If you believe, I, I know you guys are very simplistic minded. You're probably thinking, oh, Joshua can just go out there and bulldoze him over. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> it simply don't work like that. You're too simple minded, you know. It's a, it's a boxing ring. There's um, respect has to be earned in there. You can't just go in there and do that at this level, I'm afraid. Against a well schooled fighter. You can't. Who's ever done that to him before? And forget the weight. Forget the weights. Who's ever done that to him before? So I'm not excited and amped up by the performance. It was a solid performance. It was solid. It was solid, but it was very competent. It was extreme. If you, if you can just get by, oh, it wasn't exciting. It was very competent. Look how low his chin is at all times. Look at the subtle things, and then you'll see, regardless of his outside the ring problems or his condition, this guy... He's a skilled dude, very skilled. And uh, let's see who they put. I I'd like to see him get a bigger fight to test someone, man. I'd like to see the Hay fight. The Hay fight, the Fury fight. Um, who else is out there? Let's get some names. Give the guy a name. Give the guy a name so we can start gauging how good some of these dudes are. Glashgoff. Give that Glashgoff. He's got such a high ranking. Let him fight Tava. Let him fight Tava. But anyway, 7th round TKO for Antonio Tava over Jonathan Banks. Peace out.